Now, benchmarking is one of those areas which can go from the micro to the macro, and they can be both for personal use, they can be for an area's use, they can be about a program or course, they can also be about the whole institution, and so there are many, there are quite a range of benchmarks. And essentially, um, what is a benchmark is that it's an activity that tells you about your position or your status and that gives you an indication of how well you're tracking and what might be some of the areas that you need to improve. So when you're actually establishing um, or you're going to undertake a benchmarking exercise, what you need to do is establish the criteria. What are the parameters around which you wish to uh, benchmark a particular activity? Then of course you've got to identify relevant comparators, otherwise the benchmarking activity won't work very well. So um, it's important to identify those, and they can be both qualitative and quantitative, one or the other, or a mix of both. Then you need to look for evidence, and what's really important is that you're able to gather the evidence in an independent way. Now there are certain types of benchmarks which you can do yourself, because there are people that collect data, and you can use that data to benchmark whether you're above or below the norm. But there are others where you will need to um, second people to actually give you an appraisal and give you a, an independent um, mechanism of comparison. And so the university undertakes many benchmarks throughout the year and I think what's often not understood is while we do institutional, both internal and external benchmarks, individuals can also do benchmarks.